Teen Vogue, everything you could possibly ever imagine. Um, beauty stuff, kind of everything under the sun. So, yeah, and now that I'm 20, I'm kind of like, oh, I'm growing up a little bit. Maybe I'll evolve into something more. But it's funny now being kind of the youngest cast, but then if I go back to modeling, I'm still kind of one of the older ones, which is a, a trippy That's thing. interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, and I always used to be the youngest, because I started at 13, so, yeah. It was so what's it been like to be so young doing that job? I think... Did you have time I mean, to learn about... Did you get the good learning curve? Oh, I think it was an entirely an amazing learning curve. I got scattered. I went to New York... Fa I used to go to New York Fashion Week every season just kind of for fun with my dad actually and I went when I was 13 and I just kind of sprouted and got skinny and tall and got scouted at New York Fashion Week by my mother agent and then within a month I was signed in Asia and left school to go to Asia and basically lived there. Um, so it kind of all happened rather quickly and I was actually acting before I started modeling. I think it happened so quickly that I didn't really take time to think about how it was affecting my life or my growth or my development until I got to around 15, 16 when I went back to normal school. And then I realized how much I did learn on my own and how much you can't learn in school as you learn on your own. I mean, living in New York by myself and being in control of my own finances and my schedule and running your own company, basically. Making sure that you're on places on time and it's a business and you learn at a very young age. I think it was a great experience. I definitely, it was fun never having a curfew. I'll say that and kind of getting away with whatever I wanted in New York. That was a lot of fun. Uh, now looking back, I don't know. I don't think I missed out on anything. I never went to prom, but I did do a Teen Vogue photo shoot that was sort of like prom themed, so that counted. And the actor I did with, it with didn't go to prom either, so it was kind of both fun proms, which was fun. Um, but yeah, I think it's interesting. I don't really have a perspective of whether or not it would have been any different, but I know that from a young age I probably wasn't on a normal trajectory. It all kind of happened. It's funny. Life, life just happens, and you roll with it. And it happens overnight, too, which is what happened with modeling. Is it literally was in a month I went from algebra class to living in Tokyo. So, yeah, and kind of same thing with this. But it's like I got the, the phone call that I booked this movie while I was at my modeling agency and almost hit the floor. Like, I just couldn't believe it. And then. We filmed and it was the best couple of days of my life, just feeling like you're doing exactly what you're meant to be doing and it was incredible, Drake's incredible, Nick's incredible, to be able to work with the opposite of people that don't make you feel like you're unqualified or anything like that because it was my first time. Do you, do you think you'll go back to modeling and feel I don't know. I think I still do it. I mean, I have shoes. I think it'll always be a part of me because I'm 